and Dinesh Sobhuti, an optional math teacher. Okay, today we are going to discuss about the first chapter of class 10, that is function. This chapter you have been learning from class 8, in 9 class also you have learned this chapter function. But today, especially we are going to learn this chapter function for the specific objectives to define composite function and to show the composite function in arrow diagram. How to represent the composite function in arrow diagram or mapping diagram. Before starting the chapter of class 10, we are going to revise that you have learned in previous class. In previous class, you have learned what does function mean. As you may remember that, function is a relation in which every elements of first set are associated with unique elements of second set. To be a function, to be a function, and uh, you know well that function is like a machine, yes, from where we put input, yes, input, and <coughs> input function is like a machine input here it will be, it will be processed it will be processing and from here output will come and to be a function one input for example suppose input is 2 and we have a function we have a machine like fx is equal to 2x then 2x 2x means double of x so input if input is 2 that is input x then it will double the function will double the input so output there will be 4 and to be a function output must be there then it must give output and the output must be unique if you get more than one output that is not a function that you had learned in previous class next how to represent a function in arrow diagram in arrow diagram, we use two ovals where here we put inputs and here their outputs and it adjoins like this way. And next, you have learned in previous class that is functional value. Same if fx is equal to 3x plus 10, then functional value means what is the functional value of f1? That means if we substitute x by 1, what will be its output? Then substitute or replace the value of x by 1, 3 into 1 plus 10, that is 3, 1 is 3, 3 plus 10, that is 30. It is called functional value. And except this, you have already learned the types of function also. But okay, for uh, today's chapter, we need this much of previous class. So I'm going to start the first chapter of class 10, that is composite function. Composite function. Simply, composite function means combinations of two or more than two functions. Till class 9, you have discussed only about one function, but composite function means Combination of two or more than two functions. If there may be two or more than two, three, four, five, six functions. For example, suppose f is a function. For example, f is a function that is in order of pairs form one, two, three, four, five, six. Then how to show it in mapping diagram? You know well. Input one has output two. Input 3 has output 4 and input 5 has output 6. This is function f. But suppose if there is one more function g 2, 4, 4, 8, 6, 12, then g is a function. If we adjoin it with f, then the output of f plays the role of input for g. When g is a function, if you join them like this way, 
in z function 2 has output 4 4 has output 8 and 6 has output 12 then this combination of the function f and z is known as composite function if we join them using arrow then the starting inputs are 1 3 and 5 and what are their final output let's see one has final output 4 3 has final output 8 and 5 has final output 12 this combination of function f and z is known as composite function it is always represented by z o f or simply z f only z o f or z f remember the function the first one is written here f z o f means z of f so firstly we have to represent the function f and then only z but if you are said f o z then remember firstly you have to show the function z at the first and then adjoined by f flat or it is simply written as only f z only okay this is called composite function and i have given an example of composite function using mapping diagram also so if we write the answer f o z z o f is in map uh, this we have already represented in mapping diagram now if we list them in order of your form you have to just write the input and the output one has output four three has output eight and five has output two this is called composite function z o f so simply composite function mean combinations of two or more function suppose if here is one more function x then you can adjoin x here again okay and remember that you have to draw this mapping diagram using pencil only do not use pen in examples okay uh, so now i'm going to recall you once again the definition of composite function suppose this is f and this is function z this is the set a this is the set b and this is the set c so this combination is known as composite function so how can we define now okay now uh, if you need to write then write down if f is a function from a to b here f is a function from a to b and z is a function from b to c z is a function from b to c then the composite function of f and z is represented by z o f z o f is a function from a to c from a to c so this combination of function from a to c is known as composite function so i am going to say once again if f is a function from a to b and z is a function from b to c then the new function from a to c is known as composite function and it is represented by z o f this is the definition of composite function and i have given you one example and remember that in mapping diagram while drawing in mapping diagram if some element are repeated then do not repeat any element here you can write just only once for example next one example i am giving you suppose f a b b c d c g b e c f and d z then in exam you might be asked like this so g o f in arrow diagram then how to represent it in mapping diagram okay as i already told you g o f means firstly we have to show f 
not g remember that firstly we have to show the function f f is a function where okay a has output b b has output c and d has also output c so remember that never repeat the element d has also output c so you can join like this dc now it is followed by next function z so you have to join z function here z and now see here z b has output e okay the inputs are not necessary to show it is already mentioned here b has output e c has output f and d has output z d is not included here so you can add yourself d has output z okay but our main work is to show z o f in arrow diagram that means what are the inputs initially must have output at the last so let's see the first input is a whose output is e second input is b whose output is f third input is d it its output is also f again so in this way we have shown g o f in arrow diagram like this so this is the presentation of composite function in arrow diagram in se examination also this question might be asked in two marks and don't forget to write the answer g o f in order pair form like this g o f so what are the inputs and outputs you have to show in order pair form a has final output e a e b has fi final output f b f and d has final output again f okay if you show like this then you'll get full marks that is two marks so today you have learned what does composite function mean and how to show the uh, the composite function in arrow diagram uh, today you have learned of two marks okay uh, to practice more and more i'm giving you some questions to practice at your home okay i have just mentioned some question that you can practice at your home the first question is define composite function that i had already told before and second one is if f equal to this g equal to this so g o f in arrow diagram and list it in order pairs form 2 that i have already given you example third one is also if f equal to this g, <coughs> g equal to this so f o g using mapping diagram also <coughs> find f o g 1 and f o g 3 here it here you have to just write the answer f o g 1 for example here what is the answer of g o f a then you have to just write in the function g o f what is the output of a the output of a is e so you have to just write the answer only so so f o g using mapping diagram first show it mapping diagram and then find the elements or find the outputs output of one what is the output what is the output of three? Just write down the answer. Okay, you can practice this. And in next class, again, we will learn composite function. How to find composite function in functional form. Later, we'll discuss inverse functions also. Okay, but for today, this much only. I'm going to say bye-bye. Stay safe. Thank you very much.